Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jodi and in today's video I'll be sharing with you my travel skincare routine. My husband and I are heading to Europe for our honeymoon so I'll actually be embarking on nearly 21 hours of air travel in the next day. So I want to hydrate, protect and nourish my skin before I even get to the airport. And the reason I'm doing this at home rather than in flight is because if you think about the air in an airplane it's recycled dry air it's pretty disgusting and it's not the kind of place that you want to be removing your makeup or putting on your skincare products so it's best to do this if you have time at home before you get to the airport if you haven't been here before please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more skincare content and without further ado let's get to the video Alrighty, let's begin. So first I start by dampening my face in preparation for my cleanser. And this winter I've been using the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Caring Wash. It's um, made for sensitive skin, so it doesn't contain any fragrance or preservatives or soap. And it does a really good job of cleansing my face without drying it or irritating it. It contains glycerin as well as provitamin B5 or panthenol, which are both humectant ingredients. So what they do is they help to draw moisture from the air and from your surroundings into your skin. And basically it helps your skin to stay hydrated, um, which is a great thing when you're traveling on an airplane with really dry air. And it also contains niacinamide, which is a powerhouse ingredient that takes care of everything from enlarged pores to brightening dull skin to keeping acne at bay, as well as helping with fine lines and wrinkles. So I basically just love this ingredient in any of my skincare products. I like to get a really good cleanse by washing my face for at least 30 seconds and then once that's all rinsed off I dab it dry with a towel really gently. Afterwards I go straight in with my vitamin C which is a great antioxidant. I've been using this one from Dermalogica for the past 18 months or so and I've kept using it because I've noticed some really good improvements in the hyperpigmentation on my cheeks, which is from previous um, acne. And it also has helped with the general texture of my skin. And I feel like my pores have smoothed out quite a bit from using it. And I let it soak for about 15 minutes, work its magic while I'm getting dressed or having a coffee or doing whatever I need to do. And it's also a really pleasant serum to use. It's sort of like a watery texture. So it doesn't stay sticky on the skin and it absorbs really quickly. Now that the vitamin C has had time to soak into my skin, I'm going in next with Natio's Rose Water Mist. Once again, this entire routine is all about hydrating and nourishing your skin um, and protecting it from the dry environment that you're about to step into. And whilst my skin is still damp from the mist, I move on next to my essence. And this one is the Cosrx Snail Mucin, which contains 96% snail secretion, which isn't as gross as it sounds because snail mucin is a really good ingredient for helping with repairing damaged skin as well as maintaining hydration. And it's such an awesome, simple product for hydration because dehydrated skin is one of the culprits of having enlarged pores as well as acne breakouts. So even though I have oily skin underneath, I get dehydrated during the winter. And now it's time to lock in all of that hydration with a really solid moisturizer for the plane ride. The moisturizer I've been reaching for lately is this Murad City Skin Overnight Detox Cream. And it comes in this really handy airtight container to lock in all the goodness of the anti-inflammatory and antioxidant ingredients that it contains. Um, it has merubium extract as well as barley extract, which both help to calm and soothe the skin. Um, and it also helps with calming redness, which I suffer from in the morning sometimes. And of course, being so close to the sun during a flight means that SPF is extra important. One of my favorite sunscreens of all time is this aloe soothing sun cream from Cosrx. It has a gel cream sort of texture and it goes on really smooth and feels really light on the skin. And what I've discovered is that if I use a foundation brush to blend it in, it blends really nicely. It doesn't take as long and it gets rid of the white cast almost immediately. 
It has SPF 50, which will protect your skin from burning. And it's also PA++++, which in Asian sunscreens means that it's the second highest level of protection that you'll get from harmful UVA rays that cause aging. And on an airplane, the windows are only designed to block out the UVB rays, but you're not actually getting any protection from the aging rays. So it's really important to slap on that sunscreen. I'm also extending the sun protection to my lips and next I'm going to apply my lip balm which has SPF 50. Because my first flight is going to be 14 hours long, I'm going in also with my face oil. This one is from Clarins. It's one of my favorite face oils. It's the one that I keep going back to. I think this is my third or fourth bottle in the past few years. And it's just a really light, pleasant oil to use. And I have oily skin, so I can't handle anything that is too um, claustrophobic on my skin. And I love this one because it just it absorbs so quickly. But that's all done the only three products i'm going to bring with me on the plane are my sunscreen my face oil and my lip balm because i won't be wearing any makeup onto the plane i hope you found this really helpful and i'll see you next time bye